take a moment, just a brief one, to think about how your day went so far. Think about the thoughts that have been going through your mind. What did you focus on? Did you think about what wasn't working, what went wrong, or the things that stressed you out? Or did you think about what you learned from those moments? Did you see the wisdom that might be hidden in those experiences? You see, every day we're given a choice. We can look at the problems that come our way, or we can look at what they teach us. So let me ask you, what do you focus on daily? Is it the challenges? the things that frustrate you? Or do you look for lessons, the wisdom you can gain from them? Now, I know life isn't easy. It throws all kinds of things at us. Some we see coming and others hit us from out of nowhere. And often, it's natural to focus on the challenges. They're loud, aren't they? They demand our attention. But what if I told you there's something more powerful hidden within those challenges? What if I told you that every single one of those obstacles is trying to teach you something? that hidden behind every difficulty is a lesson, a piece of wisdom waiting to be discovered. I want to invite you today to start looking at things a little differently. Instead of letting your mind focus on the problem, start asking, what can I learn from this? What's the wisdom here? Because the truth is, wisdom is always there. If you look, when you shift your focus from what's going wrong to what's there to learn, something incredible happens. You stop feeling overwhelmed by the obstacle. You start to see them as stepping stones, as opportunities to grow and to understand something new about yourself, about life, about the people around you. Let's consider something simple, something we've all experienced. You're running late for work, stuck in traffic. You can feel your frustration rising. The clock's ticking. You're getting more and more stressed, and all you can think about is the challenge in front of me that you're late, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now imagine for a second that instead of focusing on that challenge, you ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Maybe the wisdom here is about patience. Maybe it's reminding you that sometimes you need to slow down. Or maybe it's a reminder that no matter how much we try, there are things we just can't control. You see how different that feels? The challenge is still there. But now you've pulled something positive from it, something useful. Life is filled with moments like that, small moments, big moments, and it's not just the frustrating ones. This goes for everything. Maybe you're dealing with a difficult relationship or a tough situation at work. These moments can feel heavy, like they're pushing you down, but I encourage you to start asking, where is the wisdom in this? What am I being taught here? Because when you do, when you shift your focus from the challenge to the lesson, you take back your power. Instead of being stuck in the frustration, you move forward with understanding. And let me tell you, this shift in focus is something you can practice every day. It's not about ignoring the problems. No, life's challenges will still be there, but it's about where you choose to place your attention. Will you focus on the weight of the problem or will you focus on what you can learn from it? Because when you focus on wisdom, you grow. You grow stronger, you grow wiser, and you grow more peaceful. So as we go forward today, I want to invite you to start noticing your focus. Pay attention to where your thoughts go. When challenges come your way, as they inevitably will, stop for a moment and ask yourself, what's the lesson here? What, what wisdom can I take from this? You'll find that every situation, no matter how difficult, offers you something. And when you start to focus on that wisdom, the challenges will feel lighter and you'll feel stronger. Let's take a moment to acknowledge something we all know. But often, Freck, life comes with challenges. It's part of the deal. Whether it's something as small as spilling your coffee in the morning or something as significant as losing a job or facing health issues, challenges are woven into the fabric of our lives. They come in all shapes and sizes, sometimes expected, sometimes completely out of the blue. But here's the real question. How do you see those challenges? Do you see them as barriers, things that block your way? that stop you from living the life you want? Or do you see them as opportunities, opportunities to learn, to grow, and to find out something new about yourself or the world around you? Now, I get it. When you're in the middle of something tough, the last thing you want to hear is that this challenge is somehow good for you. It doesn't feel that way. In the moment, it feels frustrating, overwhelming, maybe even hopeless. But what if I told you that how you see those challenges 
how you choose to look at them. You see, challenges in life are inevitable. That's not up for debate. It doesn't matter who you are or what kind of life you live. You're going to face difficulties. Some of you might be thinking, well, challenges are a part of life. Doesn't that mean I just have to accept feeling stressed and overwhelmed? Not at all. The key here is to recognize that while challenges are inevitable, your focus is a choice. How you respond to those challenges, how you think about them, is entirely within your control. Do you spend more time focusing on the problem itself, or do you look for the lesson it's trying to teach you? Because believe me, there's always a lesson in there. Every single challenge you face has something to offer you. The question is, are you willing to look for it? Think about the last time you went through something difficult. Maybe it was something that really tested your patience or your strength. Maybe it was a situation that you thought would never end. But here you are on the other side of it, and looking back, what did you learn? What did that experience teach you about yourself? Maybe you learned that you're more resilient than you thought. Maybe you realized that you could handle things you once believed were impossible. That's wisdom. That's the lesson that comes with every challenge if you're willing to see it. Now, I'm not saying this is easy. It's not. It's not easy to look at a difficult situation and say, what's the lesson here? Uh, especially when you're in the thick of it, when it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But here's the thing. Challenges don't go away when we focus on them. They get heavier. The more we dwell on the problem, the more overwhelming it feels. But when you shift your focus, when you start looking for the wisdom in the challenge, something incredible happens. The challenge doesn't disappear, but it starts to feel lighter. You start to see it differently. Imagine you're climbing a mountain. You got this huge rock in front of you and you're just staring at it. You keep thinking, this is in my way. This is stopping me from moving forward. The more you focus on that rock, the bigger it seems. But what if, instead of fixating on the rock, you look for a way around it? Or what if you realize that climbing over it would make you stronger, more capable? The rock is still there, but now it's not just an obstacle. It's a tool for growth. Life is full of those rocks, and we all have to face them. But the perspective you bring to those moments is what makes the difference. Instead of seeing the challenge as something that's stopping you, try asking, what is this teaching me? What's the opportunity here? Because when you ask that question, you shift from being stuck to being open to growth. Now, I know this isn't something we're usually taught. We're often taught to avoid challenges, to find the easiest path, the smoothest road. But the truth is, avoiding challenges doesn't make them go away. It just postpones the inevitable. Life is going to present you with difficulties whether you like it or not. The real power comes when you decide to face those uh, challenges head on, not with dread, but with curiosity. What if, instead of being weighed down by the obstacles, you saw the wisdom hidden in each one? Imagine how that could change your life. Imagine how different your days would feel if, when a problem arose, your first thought was, what can I learn here? Rather than, why is this happening to me? Let's talk about focus for a moment. Every day, from the moment we wake up, until we go to bed. We are placing our attention on something. It might be the tasks we need to get done, the people we interact with, or even the worries that float around in our minds. But what we don't always realize is that wherever our attention goes, that's where our energy flows. In other words, what we focus on becomes bigger and more real to us. What if the way you see the world depends entirely on where your focus is? Imagine you're looking at a road, it's a long road, and as you're walking, you notice that there are cracks here and there. Some of them are small, some are bigger. And as you keep walking, you keep finding more and more of it. After a while, it feels like the whole road is just full of cracks. You're focused on every single imperfection, and suddenly that's all you can see. But here's the thing. If you took a moment to lift your eyes and look beyond the cracks, you'd notice you'd see the horizon, the wide open sky, the possibilities that stretch out in front of you. The cracks are still there, but they're not the only thing. By shifting your focus, you change your entire experience of that road. I've seen this happen time and time again, not only in my own life, but in the lives of so many people I've worked with. When someone makes the decision to focus on wisdom instead of problems, it's like a switch gets flipped. Suddenly, they're not stuck anymore. They see possibilities where there were none. 
They feel lighter, more empowered, more in control, not because the challenges have disappeared, but because their focus has shifted. It's the same for all of us. And challenges are a natural part of life. They're going to show up whether we want them to or not. But what we focus on, that's up to us. We can focus on the struggle, on what's difficult, on what's not working. Or we can focus on what we're learning, on how we're growing on the wisdom that's hidden in every challenge. And that wisdom is always there, waiting for us to discover it. Sometimes it's not obvious right away. Sometimes you have to look a little deeper, past the surface of the problem, to see what it's really trying to teach you. But once you find it, it changes everything. So let's talk about wisdom. What it really is and how it can transform the way you view challenges. Wisdom isn't about having all the answers. It's not about being perfect or always knowing the right thing to do. Wisdom is about understanding that every experience, no matter how difficult, has something to offer. It's about trusting that life is always teaching you something, even when it feels like everything is falling apart. When you focus on wisdom, you stop feeling like a victim of your circumstances. Instead, you start to feel like you're part of something bigger like you're constantly growing and evolving. You start to see that every challenge is just another step in that, and that's a powerful place to be. So next time you find yourself facing a challenge, whether it's big or small, ask yourself, where is my focus right now? Am I focusing on the cracks in the road or am I looking at the horizon? Am I feeding the problem or am I looking for the, because where your attention goes, your energy flows, and when you focus on wisdom, you open up new possibilities, new ways of thinking, and new paths forward. Wisdom, it's a word we often hear, but um, what does it really mean? Wisdom isn't about knowing everything. It's not about being the smartest person in the room or having all the answers. Wisdom is something deeper. It's the understanding that comes from experience, from living life, from going through the ups and downs, the struggles and the triumphs. It's that quiet knowledge that sits inside you a kind of knowing that goes beyond what you can find in books or from advice. Wisdom is what remains when the dust settles after a storm. What have you learned from your biggest challenges? Think about that for a moment. Think about a time when you were really struggling, when life threw something at you that you didn't expect, something that maybe knocked you off your feet. Now fast forward to today. Looking back on that experience, what did it teach you? Did you come out of it stronger? more resilient? Did you discover something about yourself that you didn't know before? That's what wisdom is. It's the lesson hidden inside every challenge. Sometimes the lesson isn't immediately clear. Sometimes you have to go through the whole experience, feel all the emotions, and come out the other side before you can look back and say, ah, that's what I learned from that. But the lesson is always there, waiting to be uncovered. It's easy to feel like challenges are just things that happen to us. We might think, why is this happening? What did I do to deserve this? But what if, instead of seeing challenges as random obstacles, we started to see them as opportunities for growth? What if every challenge was life's way of offering us wisdom? Think about that. How would it change the way you approach difficulties if you knew that inside each challenge was a valuable lesson, something that would help you become a better, wiser version of yourself? Take a moment to reflect on the people you admire most the people who inspire you, the ones who seem to have this deep sense of understanding about life, I'd bet that many of them have gone through their share of adversity. They face loss, hardship, setbacks, things that might have broken them. But instead of letting those experiences defeat them, they found wisdom in them. They learned something, something profound, that allowed them to grow, to become stronger and more compassionate. They didn't just survive their challenges. They learn from them, and that's where their wisdom comes from. I think about people who have gone through unimaginable hardships, losing a loved one, overcoming illness, facing financial ruin. And yet, when you talk to them, they have this calm presence, this understanding that goes beyond the surface of things. They'll often tell you that experience was the hardest thing I've ever gone through, but it also taught me the most. They're not saying the experience was easy or that they enjoyed it, but they found the wisdom in it. They found the lesson that helped them move forward with a deeper understanding of themselves in life. 
I remember a conversation I had with someone who had faced a serious illness. This person told me that at, at the time they felt like their world was falling apart. It was, but now years later, they look back and realize that that experience changed them in ways they couldn't have imagined. It taught them to appreciate the small moments, to be present, to let go of the things that don't really matter. That's wisdom. Learning something profound from a challenge that at first seems like nothing but So when you think about your own life, about the challenges you faced, ask yourself, what was the lesson? What did you learn about yourself? What did you gain from going through that experience? Because I can guarantee you there's always something. Even in the darkest times, there is always wisdom to be found. And that wisdom becomes a guiding light, something you can carry with you, something that helps you navigate the next challenge that comes your way. How do you make that shift? What, how do you focus on wisdom when life feels overwhelming, when it feels like the challenges are too big, too much to handle? It starts with a simple choice. A choice to look beyond the immediate problem, beyond the frustration, the fear, the stress. It's a decision to step back and ask, what can I learn from this? And I'll be the first to admit, that's not always easy. In the middle of a challenge, when emotions are running high, it can feel impossible to find the lesson. But even in those moments, just reminding yourself that there is a lesson can make a huge difference. It helps you shift your focus from why is this happening to me? Think about a time when life felt overwhelming, when it felt like everything was going wrong. Now imagine that same situation, but instead of getting stuck in the stress, you took a step back and asked, what's the wisdom here? That simple shift in perspective might not change the situation itself, but it changes how you feel about it. It changes how you move through it. One practical way to do this is to start seeing challenges as questions that life is asking you. Instead of thinking, this is happening to me, try thinking, what is life asking me to learn here? What is the question this challenge is presenting? When you start seeing challenges as questions, it changes the way you interact with them. Suddenly, you're not just reacting to the situation. You're engaging with it. You're looking for the wisdom, for the lesson that will help you grow. So the next time you face a challenge, whether it's big or small, pause for a moment. Take a breath and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What's the wisdom here? And trust that there is wisdom, even if it's not immediately obvious. Sometimes the lesson is patience. Sometimes it's resilience. Sometimes it's learning to let go of control. But whatever the lesson is, it's there waiting for you to discover it. Remember, wisdom is not about having all the answers. It's about being open to learning, open to growth, open to the idea that every experience, no matter how difficult, has something to teach you. And when you approach life with that mindset, you stop feeling like a victim of your circumstances. Instead, you become someone who is always growing, always evolving, always learning. That's the power of wisdom. It transforms not just how you see challenges, but how you move through life. Let's get real about something important. We've talked about the power of focusing on wisdom instead of challenges. We've explored how life's difficulties can become opportunities for growth if we choose to see them that way. How do you actually make that shift? How do you go from feeling overwhelmed by problems to seeing the wisdom in them? I wanna give you some practical steps, things you can start doing today to help you make this shift because the truth is, this isn't just some abstract idea. This is something you can actively work on and see results from. Your whole perspective starts to shift. The first step is simple, but it's powerful. Pause. Before you react to a challenge, before you let your mind run wild with all the reasons why this problem is happening, or how unfair it is, or how stressed you feel, just pause. Take a deep breath. Sometimes we're so quick to react that we don't give ourselves the space to actually think about what's happening. But that pause, that moment of stillness can make all the difference. It's like hitting a reset button on your emotions, giving you a chance to regain control instead of being swept away by the storm. How often do you take a moment to pause before reacting? It's a simple habit 
but one that can transform how you handle challenges. In that pause, you give yourself the space to choose your response. Instead of reacting out of fear or frustration, you can decide to approach the situation with clarity and intention. And that's the key. When you pause, you're not avoiding the problem, you're giving yourself the opportunity to face it with wisdom. Let me tell you about someone I once spoke to. She was going through a tough time, work was stressful, her family life was chaotic, and it felt like everything was piling up at once. Every day she woke up feeling overwhelmed, and every day she reacted to the stress immediately. It was a cycle she couldn't break. Then she started doing something different. Instead of diving headfirst into the chaos each morning, she took a few minutes to sit quietly and breathe. She paused. And in that pause, she gave herself the chance to see things differently. Suddenly, instead of being consumed by the stress, she could approach her day with a little more calm, a little more wisdom. It didn't solve all of her problems, but it changed how she faced it. The next step is to ask questions. After you pause, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How is this growing me? These are simple but powerful questions. They take your mind off the problem itself and shift your focus toward the potential for growth. Because every challenge has something to teach you, if you're willing to look for it. Instead of getting stuck in the mindset of why is this happening to me, shift to what is this teaching me. It's a small change in language, but it makes a world of difference. You see, when you ask those questions, you're inviting wisdom into the situation. You're no longer seeing the challenge as just a problem to be solved, but as a learning experience. And once you start looking for the lesson, it's amazing how much lighter the challenge can feel. It's no longer this heavy burden. You're actively engaging with it, learning from it. Let me share a story with you. A man I knew lost his job unexpectedly. At first, he was devastated. His immediate reaction was fear, anger, frustration, all those emotions we feel when life takes an unexpected turn. But after he took some time to pause, he started asking himself different questions. What can I learn from this? How can this experience help me grow? Those questions didn't make the situation any less difficult, but they changed his perspective. Instead of being stuck in anger, he began to see this as an opportunity to rethink his career to explore passions he had put aside for years. What seemed like a disaster at first turned into a turning point in his life, all because he asked the right questions. Another step that can make a huge difference is gratitude. I know that sounds simple, maybe even a bit cliche, but I promise you, it works. Gratitude is one of the most powerful tools we have for shifting our focus. Even in the middle of a tough situation, there is always something to be grateful for. It might not be obvious at first, especially when you're deep in the challenge, but it's there. What does that kind of peace feel like? Imagine being in the middle of a situation where everything seems to be going wrong and instead of feeling overwhelmed or stressed, you pause, you take a breath. You ask yourself, what can I learn here? What wisdom is this experience offering me? And in that moment, you feel a sense of calm the situation may not change immediately, but your perspective does. You start to see the situation not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity for growth. And in that shift, you find peace. This kind of peace isn't about ignoring the challenges or pretending they don't exist. It's about facing them with a different mindset. It's about realizing that the challenges themselves aren't the source of your stress. It's your focus on them that creates the tension. When you focus on the challenge, it feels heavy. It feels like something you have to fight against. But when you focus on wisdom, the weight lifts. You start to see things differently. You start to understand that every experience, no matter how difficult, has something to teach you. And with that understanding comes peace. Let's talk about the emotional benefits of making this shift. When you focus on stress, on the problem, you're in a constant state of reaction. Your mind is racing, your body is tense, and emotionally you feel drained. But when you shift your focus to wisdom, something amazing happens. You stop reacting and you start responding. You respond with clarity, with insight, and with calmness. Your emotions settle. You start to feel more in control, not of the situation itself, but of how you approach it. And that's where true peace comes from. 
It's not about controlling everything around you. It's about controlling how you perceive and respond to what's happening. I've seen people transform their lives just by making this simple shift in focus. They were overwhelmed by stress, constantly reacting to every challenge that came their way. But when they started focusing on wisdom, their entire emotional landscape changed. They found a sense of calm they hadn't experienced in years. They were able to face challenges without feeling overwhelmed because they knew that no matter what happened, there was always something to learn, something to gain from the experience. And it's not just about feeling calm during the difficult times. When you embrace wisdom, you realize something profound about your own power. You start to see that you are not at the mercy of your circumstances. You have the ability to choose where you focus your attention. You have the power to find peace, even in the most challenging situations, simply by shifting your perspective. This is what wisdom offers you, a new state of being, a way of moving through life with less stress, less worry, and more peace, more clarity, more understanding. It's about living from a place of calm, no matter what's happening around you. So the next time you're faced with a challenge, Remember this, your peace doesn't come from the situation, it comes from your focus. And when you choose to focus on wisdom, when you choose to see the lesson, the growth, the deeper meaning in every experience, you'll find that peace is always within reach. You'll discover that wisdom isn't just something you gain. It's a way of living, a way of being that brings calmness, clarity, and a sense of deep inner peace no matter what life throws your way. Let's talk about something truly powerful, the power you have within you. Imagine this, what if every challenge you faced, every obstacle was not something holding you back, but an opportunity for growth, an opportunity to become stronger, wiser, and more in tune with who you truly are. How empowered would you feel if you knew you had the ability to learn and grow from every challenge? Uh, just imagine that for a moment. How would your life change if you believed deeply that every experience, even the difficult ones, was serving you in some way? It's important to understand that wisdom is not a passive realization. It's not something that just happens to you. It's a choice, a deliberate, conscious choice to focus on learning, on growth, on the lessons hidden within every experience. This isn't about sitting back and hoping things will get better. It's about actively choosing to shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right, from what's challenging to what's possible. Here's the thing. You hold the power to decide how you respond to the circumstances in your life. No one else has that power unless you give it to them. The moment you choose to focus on wisdom, you reclaim your power. You stop giving your energy to the problem, to the stress, and you start giving it to the solution, to the learning, to the growth. That's empowerment. That's when you realize that life isn't something that happens to you. It's something that happens for you. Every experience is there to help you become more of who you're meant to be. Now I want you to think about a challenge you faced recently. Maybe it was something at work. Maybe it was a personal issue, whatever it was. Think about how you responded. Did you feel overwhelmed, stressed? Did it feel like the problem was too big? Now imagine how different it could have been if instead of focusing on the challenge itself, you had focused on the wisdom it was offering you. What if, in the middle of that difficult situation, you had asked yourself, what can I learn from this? How is this helping me grow? How does that change the way you see the situation? Just by asking that simple question, your perspective shifts. The problem doesn't seem as overwhelming anymore. It's no longer something that's happening to you. It's something that's happening for you. You're no longer a victim of your circumstances. You're a student of life, learning and growing through every experience. This shift in focus isn't just about surviving challenges. It's about thriving through them. It's about realizing that every challenge is an opportunity to tap into your own inner wisdom to become more empowered, more in control of how you respond. And when you make that choice, when you choose wisdom over stress, learning over fear, you start to see changes not only in yourself, but in the world around you. Have you ever noticed how your energy affects the people around you? 
Think about a time when you were really stressed or anxious. How did that affect the people you were with? Did they become more tense, more stressed themselves? Now think about a time when you were calm, centered, and focused on the positive. How did that change the energy in the room? People probably felt more relaxed, more open. That's because your energy is contagious. When you choose to focus on wisdom, when you choose to see challenges as opportunities for growth, that energy radiates outward. The people around you begin to feel it too. They may not even realize it, but they start to shift as well. So as you make the choice to focus on wisdom, don't be surprised if the people around you start to change. You're creating a ripple effect. Your focus, your energy influences those you interact with. Your calmness, your clarity, your empowerment, it all has an impact. And that's the beauty of wisdom. It not only transforms your life, but it also touches the lives of others. This is your power. The power to shift your focus, the power to grow from every experience, the power to influence the world around you just by choosing where you place your attention. When you choose wisdom, you choose empowerment. And that empowerment changes everything. You are not at the mercy of life's challenges. You are stronger, wiser, and more capable than you realize. And every time you make the choice to focus on wisdom, you are stepping into that power. You are showing yourself and the world that you are not defined by your challenges. You are defined by how you rise above them, how you grow through them, how you transform because of them. The next time life throws something difficult your way, remember you hold the power, you hold the power to choose how you respond. You hold the power to find wisdom in every situation. And with that wisdom comes peace clarity and a deep sense of empowerment that no challenge can take away. Let's take a moment and reflect on something truly profound. How might your wisdom impact your family, friends, or colleagues? I want you to really think about that. The choices you make, the way you decide to approach life's challenges doesn't just affect you. It ripples out into the world around you. The wisdom you cultivate through your own experiences becomes a beacon of light for others whether you realize it or not. Think about a time when you were around someone who remained calm and centered, even in the face of chaos. Maybe it was a parent who always seemed to know just what to say, or a friend who somehow managed to find the lesson in the toughest of situations. How did that impact you? Did it give you strength? Did it inspire you to handle your own challenges differently? This is the power of wisdom-focused living. It creates a ripple effect. Your wisdom becomes a source of inspiration, not just for yourself, but for everyone who comes into contact with you. Imagine how your own wisdom might influence your family. When you choose to focus on growth, on learning, instead of dwelling on problems, you model that mindset for your children, your spouse, your siblings. What better gift can you give to your family than the ability to face challenges with grace and resilience? You become a living example of what it means to turn adversity into opportunity, and trust me, even if they don't say it out loud, they notice, they feel it. Your energy shifts the energy of your entire home. Now let's talk about your friends and colleagues. How might your wisdom inspire them? Have you ever noticed that when one person in a group remains calm and focused, others tend to follow suit? It's because your energy, your focus affects everyone around you by choosing wisdom. By deciding to see every challenge as a learning experience, you offer a new perspective to those around you. You give them permission, in a way, to see things differently, to stop feeling overwhelmed and start feeling empowered. I've seen this happen in so many situations. I remember hearing about a man who, after losing his job, chose to focus not on what he had lost, but on what he could learn from the experience. He started volunteering at a local community center, teaching kids about entrepreneurship. He didn't wallow in self-pity. He didn't complain about how unfair life was. Instead, he focused on the wisdom he had gained and how he could use that to help others. Do you know what happened? His perspective, his energy transformed that community center. The kids weren't just learning about business. They were learning about resilience, about turning setbacks into opportunities. That man's wisdom didn't just change his own life. It changed the lives of everyone he touched. You have that same power. Each time you choose to focus on wisdom instead of worry, on learning instead of fear, you offer a new way of seeing the world to those around you. And it's not about 
giving advice or preaching to others. It's about living your own truth, walking your own path, and letting your actions speak for themselves. People are inspired by what they see, not by what they're told. When they see you navigating challenges with calmness and clarity, they start to believe that maybe they can do the same. This is how wisdom-focused living changes the world. It starts with you. It starts with the choices you make in your own life, but it doesn't end there. It radiates outwards, touching the lives of your family, your friends, your community. You know, here's the most beautiful part. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have all the answers. Wisdom isn't about knowing everything. It's about being open to learning in every moment. It's about being willing to grow to shift your focus from what's wrong to what's possible. I'm reminded of a story about a woman who had been through so much loss in her life. She had every reason to be bitter, to focus on the pain, but instead she chose wisdom. She decided that the best way to honor those she had lost was to live fully, to learn from every experience, and to share those lessons with others. Her wisdom became a source of light for her entire community. People came to her not because she had all the answers, but because she had the courage to keep learning, to keep growing, no matter what life threw her way. Her wisdom created a ripple effect that changed countless lives. That's the potential you hold within you. Every time you make the choice to focus on wisdom, you're creating ripples. And those ripples can turn into waves, waves that change the lives of your family, your friends, your colleagues, your community. You don't have to be extraordinary to make an extraordinary impact. You just have to choose wisdom every day and every moment. So I ask you, what kind of ripple do you want to create? How do you want your wisdom to impact the world around you? Because whether you realize it or not, you are already making a difference. Every choice you make, every thought you focus on is sending energy out into the world. When you choose wisdom, you choose to be a source of inspiration, a source of calm, a source of strength for those around you. And that is the greatest gift you can give to the world. And this brings us to the most important part. You have the power, you always have. The power to choose how you respond, the power to find wisdom in every challenge, and the power to inspire others through your example. So how will you use that power today?